welcome to BCTV News. I am Toby. And I'm Alexis. Let's break away and go to Rich, live in the quad. Can you hear us, Rich? What is going on? We can't find Rich. Just go to the commercial. Sir, is a term of respect. And you will have my respect until you abuse it. Why being in the meeting with complete silence when somebody walks in? Because it's presence and essence that determines respect. I don't care if you like each other or not. But you will respect each other. A.D. Williams once said, imagine what seven billion humans could accomplish if we loved and respected one another. Just imagine. Imagine if there was no greed. Imagine if there was no comparison. If everyone was running their own race, but cheering for all others at the same time. Speaking of respect, it is time to show some to our nation's flag. Please rise as we honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain seated for your 30 seconds of silence. Welcome back. Keeping with the America theme, I have a question for you, Toby. How many amendments are in the Constitution? I think 26. Ah, oh, you're wrong. It's actually 27. Thanks. Here's a short report on our Constitution. Alright guys, today we're going to be asking some people questions about the Constitution. Alright, let's go. Oh, What's up, bro? Nice All right, to meet you. So we've got our first guy here. Yeah. Uh, so when was the Constitution ratified? Um, 1787. Okay, so I'm here with Logan. What year was the Constitution ratified? September 1776. Okay, what's the Second Amendment? The right to bear arms. What is one of the rights of the First Amendment? Freedom of speech. What year do you think the Constitution was ratified? 1776. I'm here with my friend Jonah. What's up? Uh, what is the 19th Amendment? The 19th Amendment? Um... It's the one where, like, we can vote and it doesn't, like, it's not based on our gender, right? Something like oh, that. Oh, okay. Okay. What's the 19th Amendment? The 19th Amendment is women's suffrage. They get the right to vote. Do you know what the 19th Amendment is? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Go ahead. Well done. So for years we have had fire drills. This year they changed the rules a bit. We now wait for the teacher to check the door, then wait for the all clear before we exit. Here's a short report on what we did during the last fire drill. Oh, hold on. Harry. Come here. What's up, bro? Hey, Bo. Yeah, what's How up, How you bro? feel about this fire drill? Man, I want to die. You see TV news today. All right, come here. How you feel about this fire drill? Honestly, I feel like I'm chilling. Good time to get outside, you know? <laughs> all right, how you feeling about this fire drill? Uh, it's all good and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. Really? Yeah. What do you like about your teachers? Um, I like respect and honesty in my teachers. That's awesome. What do you like? Why do you come to school? Well, I come to school to see my friends and, you know, get an education. <laughs> Let's go find out why students come to school. Why do you come to school? So I can get into like a good college and stuff, and then get a diploma and get ready for my life. Well, I come to school to get a good education so I can have a good future. Why do you come to school? To get a free education and play sports. Why do you come to school? 
I have to because of dance. Let's come to school. Uh, see all my friends and just learn some more. That's it. I come to school to get this education, gotta go to college, get a degree, and get a job so I can help my family. How do you come to school? To learn. How do you come to school? <laughs> to learn, hang with my friends, and for the girls. How do you come to school? <laughs> so I can get my high school diploma, so I can get a job. <laughs> it's obviously clear that students come to school to learn and get their education. Um, if you had an idea teacher, what would be your idea teacher? Somebody who isn't going to skirt away from the the hardness of school okay um what is your idea of a perfect teacher if she uh cool okay so michael what do you expect in the teacher i expect for the teacher to be understanding and for them to help me whenever i need help and not complain because that's their job so what do you like in the teacher oh when they're nice <laughs> okay thank you i'm sure you've all seen episodes of the bill cosby show well, the star of the show, Bill Cosby, was convicted of sexual assault and will serve a three to ten year prison sentence. Once known as America's dad, Cliff Huxtable will now be remembered as inmate number NN7687. Tragic story all around. Now, now it's time for our sports, guys! You know what it do? What it do? What I... I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sports guy one. Sports guy two. Good morning. Let's get started with football. Our team is ranked number nine. And tonight we take on Faith Lutheran at Faith for their homecoming game. Faith is ranked number six and have a strong passing game. However, our defense is for real. For real. And we will stop them tonight. <clears throat> In the RJ, all four reporters. Pick Faith to win. But they've been wrong all year, baby. Let's, Let's go, go, Bulldogs. <laughs> on Wednesday, our men's soccer team finished in a one-to-one -one draw against Canyon Springs. Armando Gutierrez had, one, had our lone goal. Our women's soccer team beat Canyon Springs 9-0. Marcelo Brooks led the way with three goals. And Quincy Vaughn and Nora had two goals each. Kayla Alba, our goalie, had the shutout. Shutout. Our ladies are playing well. In tennis, we took on Arborview. Our men suffered a defeat, 14-4. But our women picked up the win, 15-3. Josie Wandra and Hannah Robinson and Lainey Waldman all won in straight sets. Nice work. I love tennis. Get it? We hope you all have a great sports weekend. Make sure you go score some goals. And get it done, baby. You know what they do. Well, that will do it for sports. We hope you all have a great sports weekend. Now go out and score a goal, Bulldogs. Well, Bulldogs, we are done with another edition of BCTV News. We hope we keep you well informed. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Ciao!